Glory be to God. Well, welcome back to Gospel Time Ministries. And we uh, apologize for not being uh, caught up to date on uh, on preaching or teaching. Today we'd like to teach on something. And uh, we, we'll try not to uh, hold you too long. But uh, I want us to go to First Peter chapter 1 and verse 6. It says, Wherein ye greatly rejoice, though now for a season, if need be, ye are in heaviness through manifold temptations, that the trial of your faith being much more precious than of gold that perish, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory of the appearing of Jesus Christ. I, I thought of these two scriptures here. I thought we go through tribulations. We go through trials. Well, just have you ever thought about this? What is a trial? What is a tribulation? And I, I want to go to uh, James. James, chapter 1. I want you to notice, he said, Blessed is the man that endureth temptation. For when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life which the Lord hath promised to them that love him. So, here we are tried, we're tempted, we go through tribulations. I want you to notice also in this same book of James in chapter 1, in verse 3, it says, Knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. But let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. Now, he, he is explaining that our faith is going to be tried with fire. Our faith is going to be tried with tribulations, temptations. Well, what is tribulations? What is trials of faith? Our faith is tried every day. I mean, from the time that we wake up till the time that we go to bed, our, our, our faith is put to the test. I guess more than anything, what, could, what brings to my mind of someone that was, that was ever tested and tried for their faith was, uh, a woman by the name of Corey Tin Boom. She went through uh, the Nazis' Holocaust camps. She went through the concentration camps, her and her sister. Her sister passed away in that camp. But I thought was, within just a few days, she was, was to, to, uh, to be put to death. Something, God moved, and she was released out of prison, and she was able to give her testimony. She... She wrote a book, and 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 I I, I thought you know I thought if, if if you never read that book, uh, I encourage you to get it. Uh, she she wrote it. Her name is Corey Ten Boom, and it's called the Hiding Place. And and if we go through our tribulations and we go through our trials. We'll find that hiding place. If we look for it and we search for it, we can find that hiding place in Jesus Christ. Now, there's going to be times that we don't feel like that we're going to make it. But hold on. Hold on. Uh, the book of Corinthians tells us that there is a way of an escape. And, and I, I posted that message just a few days ago, way of escape. Now, 
our trials of faith is going to differ from different one another. Where your trial is different than my trial. If you, if you noticed in the book of Romans chapter 5, go with me to Romans chapter 5. He said, therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. By whom also we have access by faith into this grace wherein ye stand, and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. And not only so, but we glory in tribulations also, knowing that tribulation worketh patience, and patience experience, and experience hope, and hope maketh not ashamed, because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, which is given unto us. For when we were yet without strength in due time, Christ died for the ungodly. Now, our tribulations, our trials, will will uh, 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 work patience. Well, we all need patience. You know, we all need to work towards that each and every day. Sometimes we lose our patience with others, with people, animals. Hmm? Uh, you think about it. You think about it. And, and our, our tribulations is worked every day. We, we, our patience is tried every day. I want you to notice one word. He said experience. We experience things, and we can go back and learn from those experiences. We can find our strength from those experiences that we go through. And then by going through those experiences and understanding those experiences, we will find hope. In other words, we'll find the strength to overcome in the name of Jesus Christ. We can't do it on our own. We never have and we never will. But we can through Jesus Christ. There was a brother on Facebook. I, I can't remember his name right now. But he put a poem up or, or a small message at the feet of Jesus Christ. At the feet of Jesus Christ. I, I'd like to get the brother's name if I could. Uh, Give me a little bit of time because I I really I really want to uh, recognize I really want to recognize what this brother has to say. Amen. Uh, go with me. I I, I just I, I got to I, I really uh, feel in in the in the strength of my uh, in my. I feel the urgency of reading this for some reason because it it really hit home to me yesterday. If I can find it, if I can find it, uh, give me a little time here. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. Ain't God good. Ain't God good. Amen. God is wonderful. And when we recall upon his name, we can find strength. Amen. I'm looking for it. Give me a little bit of time. Glory be to God. You know, we need to praise him every day. We need to lift him up every day. Jesus is the author and the finisher of our faith. His name is Bill Warner. And, and wonderful singer. I've heard him saying, and uh, uh, blessed of God. But he had wrote this at the feet of Jesus. And I'm going to try to hurry up with this. He said, where do I find love at the feet of Jesus? Where do I find peace at the feet of Jesus? 
Where do I find joy? At the feet of Jesus. Where do I find contentment? At the feet of Jesus. Where do I find forgiveness? At the feet of Jesus. Where do I find fellowship? At the feet of Jesus. Where do I find prayer? At the feet of Jesus. Where do I find wisdom? At the feet of Jesus. Where do I find rest? At the feet of Jesus. Where do I find salvation? At the feet of Jesus. Where do I find truth? At the feet of Jesus. Where do I find comfort? At the feet of Jesus. Where do I find heaven? At the feet of Jesus. Where do I find my future? At the feet of Jesus. Where do I find everything I need? At the feet of Jesus. Amen. Ain't that wonderful? Because it's at the foot of the cross. It's at Jesus that we can find these things. Love, peace, joy, contentment, forgiveness, fellowship, prayer, wisdom, rest, salvation, truth, comfort, heaven, our future. In everything, we find it at the feet of the cross, at the foot of the cross. Amen. Through tribulation and trials, we can overcome by the blood of the Lamb. Amen. Uh, look us up. Look us up on Facebook, YouTube, on YouTube, Gospel Time Ministries. If you come across this message on Facebook, join us up on Gospel Time Ministries group. Uh, <clears throat> I know uh, that Jesus is coming again someday. We're here to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. I, I hunt, I hunt today on, on television. All they want to talk about is, is a prosperity doctrine. I'm not here to tell you about a prosperity doctrine, but I'm here to lead you to Jesus Christ. I'm here to point you to Jesus Christ. That's the message of the cross is Jesus Christ. And and uh, I'm here to say that he's able to help you. If you don't know him, give your heart and life to him right now. If you're going through a tribulation and a trial, put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ. Let's pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, we come before you through the blood that was shed upon Calvary. Lord, we thank you. We magnify your holy name. If there's one that's lost, Lord God, I pray that you will save their soul. If there's one that's discouraged, Lord, that, that you will encourage them. If they're going through a trial or a tribulation, give them strength to overcome. You said we can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthened us. Glory be to God. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. Once again, get on YouTube. Look us up. Gospel Time Ministries on YouTube. Facebook, uh, you can look us up under my name, Samuel David Brannon. Uh, join up with us. Amen. We'd be glad to have you in Gospel Time Ministries group. Amen. Check us out. God bless you. Until next time.